Oh, listen, the season's been terrific. When you look back at it, obviously, Nick. Um, the, I think first and foremost the reason why they're league champions is because of the you know the way they've played. I think that's, we always you know make sure that we, we push a, a certain way in terms of a game style um, with them without the ball. And I think the reason why they've got to this point today is uh, is obviously the way they've applied themselves and applied that that um, that style of play itself. Um, we've been ruthless in terms of the, the goals that were scored as well. I think we're now sitting with like 64 goals over the course of the league campaign, which in itself will give you an understanding. That's almost like three per game the guys are getting over the course of the season. So I think that in itself gives an indication that we always look at a team that we're going to do that. Um, and defensively as well, it's important. We, we see our goals against record now, I think, is sitting at 14 amongst the whole games as well. So I think, uh, yeah, I think the lads have deserved it thoroughly. You changed the, the formation today for the, the 3-1 win over Hearts. How do you, do you think that went? And obviously, great to get the result in the end. Well, it was something different. We looked at the, the, the players that we had available to us today. And we had, obviously, Liam King, Harris O'Connor and, and Kyle McClellan. And we've looked at the different points this season and considered it. And we thought, you know what, this is a good chance to do it. Um, I think the balance of the team laid itself into it was, was the right thing to do. At times it worked. Um, there's a bit of work to be done in there to try and make it a bit better again. But it's something, you know, from an academy point of view, it doesn't change how we play. It just it's a starting point for the players to work from. Um, so. It, yeah, at times we found that it worked for us in terms of controlling the game. Um, we probably didn't create as many chances in the first half as what we'd like and what we normally would do. Um, but that's what that would work in progress. But the players actually, when we said to them yesterday we were going to do it, they're actually they were, they're not beat about it. They wanted to do something different. So yeah, from that point of view, it was worthwhile. The, the free kick goal from Kai and injury time to, to clinch the title, quite fantastic. And I guess just sums up the, the quality you've got right through the team. Absolutely. I mean, I think the, the boys are the first to see the second half. We probably weren't at the best in terms of our, our level of performance. Um, uh, but that just brought that wee bit at the end, a bit of quality with Kai. And he's done it so many times this season. Um, and he's cont consistently practising to, to make sure when he's putting those scenarios or those, those positions, he's, uh, he's, he's fairly consistent when he gets it. Winning the league's great, but it's qualification for the UEFA Youth League. How big a, a step is that for the club? Huge. Huge, absolutely huge. I think you know we've 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 watched my distance and seen Hamilton go and do well this season in the youth league, and we, we want to be part of that. that. That's the biggest prize. The cup's good. The the medals are nice, but ultimately it's the opportunity to go and be challenged further. And I'm more competitive. I'm just listening to the boys in the background. Um, and a more competitive environment. And um, yeah, I think that's something we really look forward to next season. I think the biggest one of the biggest pleasing things as well is when you look at the the makeup of our group throughout the season. We've challenged boys that are playing under 18 football is under 17 players and for the most part 50% of our starting team have been under 17 players or under 16s dipped in there at different points of the season we've got Leon King as an under 15 player so I think that in itself probably is the biggest pleasing thing yeah we've got the reward at the end of it and we'll look forward to next season to go and play in that, in that um, competition but I think the biggest bit we can take from it is how we've done it um, and, and, and make sure that we've challenged players up into different age groups to, to present them with a different opportunity and now you've done it with three games to go, does that give you an even bigger opportunity to perhaps promote younger guys into the team for the last three games? Uh, probably. Um, the reserves will get their game again on Monday, which will now take obviously priority. So any of the lads that they need to use from their group um, and, and challenging them to go and try and win that league, if that's you know that's something that they can be achieved now, um, that's they're going to do that. They've also got another game next week and they've got the Hong Kong trip. So in that time, we're going to have these three games to play. So I hope so. I thought you'll see some of the guys from the 2003s group um, come and play and, and, and bolster the group and challenge themselves in that the remainder of the season to see what happens for next season.